69. I know it's a different a different stadium, but um, what would your advice be to the players? Just enjoy the Just day? Just enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, we all want to win. So I mean, we all say the same thing. Oh, as long as it's a good game and we all come away. Nah, nah, pros want to win. If you don't win, it's a bad day. How did it feel as a player on your way to Wembley? Uh, well, I, I think you're just looking forward to it, that's all. The main thing is you just you can't wait for the Saturday or the Sunday to come to play it. I mean, it's just one of those things you look forward to. I mean, it was a dream for us in 69. I mean, you know, you don't beat four premiership clubs if they would be now. We beat four premier on the way, which is unheard of. I mean, it wouldn't happen now. And last night, Swindon, superb victory against Torquay. Your last game before you went to Wembley, what, was, what were your thoughts before? Don't ask me what it was because I can't remember. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, you don't take any notice. You, you, you're concentrating on the game you're playing. Because as in 69 again, it's all relatively the same because they're pushing for promotion and so were we. So in, the league matches are more important than the cup, really. And on the day, your thoughts? You, you stayed in a hotel the night before? Yeah. When you first arrived at Wembley? I think that's, that's my best memories, I think, actually, arriving at Wembley and going up towards the ground in the coach. I think that was a wonderful sight, that. And all the Swindon red and white people, you know, was, that was one of the best parts of the day. It's an amazing day out for the town, isn't it? It is, yeah, that's what it is. It's a day out for Swindon, yeah. The players on Sunday will be playing on a slightly different pitch than you played <laughs> on 60, 69. Yeah, they'll be playing on grass. We played on mud, yeah, that's the difference. But, I mean, we were lucky, really, because we were playing home, really. Because the, <laughs> the county ground was mud from September to March anyway, so it's like playing on our own pitch. And when you're playing at Wembley... Um, do you, do the crowd, the noise, did you, did, did you eventually, you just don't realise, are you blocking it out, you're just concentrating on the football? To be honest, the crowd you hear when you come out, and that's it. During the game, you, you're just concentrating on the game. You don't hear the crowd very often, because they're a long way from the pitch. I mean, you realise what the crowd's like at the end of the game when you've won, like we did. And there's all this, everybody, that end, end was up, and you know, so that's when you actually notice how many people were there. Paolo's done brilliant for the club, hasn't he? I mean, he's up and down. People, they, they see how enthusiastic he is. That's what, and it's done, it's changed the club completely this year. Just his attitude. The passion he's got for Swindon is incredible, isn't it? The passion, is, uh, the way he is. I mean, it's not just Swindon. Wherever he was, he'd be the same. You can tell that. Because he's on the edge all the time and he's really with it. And but he's done brilliantly for the club this year. What does it take to lift a cup at Wembley? A lot of luck to start with. <laughs> to get there, you need a bit of luck. Um, I think that's the, that's the most important thing, to get luck along the way and then when you get there. Um, it's just a one-off game. And, and in Swindon's situation this year, as in 69, promotion as well. I mean, I'd take promotion any time over a cup win, there's no doubt about that. And I think all the players would. But for the players, it's a one-off day. Go and enjoy it. Hope we win. If we don't, next week's all about the league anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, Don Rogers, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.